Привет! Welcome to Binkov's News Flash. South Korean arms acquisition agency recently revealed the preliminary design images of the in-development KF-X fighter jet. They show a design similar to previous ideas, but now it is confirmed the jet's design will stick to a shrunken F-22. The program was officially launched back in 2016, after years of preliminary research. After this preliminary design stage, which checked that all system requirements were met, the next stage to follow is the critical design review. It will come after detailed design is finished. After that, the production of prototypes can commence. Judging by the released images, it is evident the design will not use an internal weapons bay. Even though the outer lines of the jet are probably carefully designed to lower the radar cross-section, the outer carriage of weapons means overall radar signature is likely to be much bigger than the one of the fifth generation fighters out there. The plan for the KF-X is to introduce another variant sometime in the future, with internal weapon bays and full stealth features. But realistically, that won't happen anytime soon as it would also require significant redesign and compromise current performance. Another disclosure evident from the images is integration of European missiles into plane's fire control system. Meteor and Iris-T missiles are shown. Allegedly, Korean Defense Acquisition Administration initially preferred integrating US weapons, but US government has not approved such a move yet, so that is something that may yet change. The current aim of the program is to build at least 120 airframes by 2032 for the Korean Air Force and up to 50 airframes for the Indonesian Air Force. Indonesia is a co-development partner on the project, contracted to finance 20% of the program, though it has recently been falling behind with their payments and has expressed desire to renegotiate the whole arrangement. First flight of a prototype is currently planned for 2022 with testing phase concluding in 2026, which is when initial operational capability is also projected for. Such timetable may prove to be quite optimistic, considering other recent fighter programs around the world. When finished, KF-X may prove to be a quality 4.75 generation fighter, so to say with modern subsystems, but lacking low radar signature and significant supercruisability. It is designed around two medium thrust engines, Previous design configurations disclose the empty weight goals of 11 tons, which would suggest the operational mission configuration thrust to weight ratio would be near top of the line. Also, design goals call for much better performance than Korean F-16s. Avionics include active electronically steered radar technology sourced from Israel, but produced domestically. It remains to be seen how will the development progress, but South Korea seems determined to push its industrial and technological base forward. KF-X may prove to be one of the very few new planes to enter service in the 2020s. And remember, Binkov may talk about hypothetical wars, but only real peace can bring us all together. <laughs>